Hey, welcome to this Flash Workshop. And before this Flash Workshop starts, I'd like to give you a tip. If you buy a headset, make sure that it's of good quality and make sure you get an onboard sound card because this is sounding a bit hissy at the moment. And um, it's, I know the recording's not of the best quality, but unfortunately, I, I think it's having a sound card which is really causing some issues here because it's, it's been fine on one of my other systems. Um, or get yourself a USB headset rather than uh, one which plugs into the jack because uh, the 3.5 jack, it just isn't the same quality. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and push through this and in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to create a um, get URL function like is in ActionScript 2 uh, which is very simple but we're going to do it in ActionScript 3 which is a bit more complex again as it always does seem to be with ActionScript 3 but once you've got it, you know, um, save it somewhere and you can reuse the code at some point. As long as you understand it, you can just drag it out of files and put it in and stuff and uh, that'll work fine. So what we're going to do is go ahead and write an actions, create a new ActionScript 3 document here. And uh, if you've watched my tutorial on um, just creating some buttons, we're going to do something similar again. It's not going to look pretty, but I'm just going to get a um, circle and I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to highlight it, convert to symbol and as with all of mine I always make them movie clips just because I find it gives me more flexibility if I wish to do something a bit more fancy with it um, you can use a button if you wish and you can create the rollovers as well if you'd like to do that but I always create buttons because it just is easier for animations if I wish to add animations inside the button or something um, anyway, uh, like smooth rollovers and rollouts actually which are a lot easier in, action, in uh, movie clips so I'm going to give this button a name and I'm going to call it circle and remember that that doesn't make any difference to anything in the code it's just for your reference I'm going to OK that then from the instance library here in the instance here from the properties library if we've max selected remember if I'm not select on it this is quite important if you content select on this so if I click on the object the properties panel changes depending on where you're clicking and the different things so if I'm clicked on the object I go to the instance name here and I'm going to just call this circle. Now, the rest of it is all in the timeline. So here's our layer one, which I always tidy up. So I'm going to call this circle and create a new layer called AS. And this is our action script layer. Now, if you press F9, you can open the actions panel, or as I can't because it stopped my recorder, I go to the actions from the Windows panel. Now you should get a panel like this. It might be flying around somewhere. You can drag it down. One good thing about Flash, well, one good thing about most of the Adobe Suits and most uh, programs nowadays, is you can actually drag it anywhere. You see that blue line? If I let go there, it'll put it there for me and create quite a mess. Um, I can click and drag it out and just put it back in here again. Uh, so you can customize the panel as you want. You can also, um, there's lots of other different options to set it up here from up here. Uh, you've got the Essentials, Animator, Classic. Um, I like working with the Essentials and the Animator, really. But, you know, Essentials is quite enough for most of the type of people. Uh, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to write some code, um, and we're going to start off by adding our listener. So if you don't know what a listener is, go and watch the simple tutorial I've just done on creating a button, and um, we're going to create the same sort of listener again here. So circle dot add event listener. Now it hasn't gone blue there. That's because I've misspelled the B there. Well, not misspelled the B, misspelled event really. Uh, so add event listener, and in here, the listener we're going to be looking out for this time is a mouse event, and that mouse event is click. And let's give it our function name, and in this, I'm going to use the same as I did in my previous tutorial, I'm going to call it pressed. So there we are our circle is looking out for the mouse event. Now, let's create our function. So our function is called press. Function pressed. And what type of listener is this press looking out for? It is an event. And remember in my previous tutorial I said that this actually means nothing. This EVT there is just a variable that can hold this event. In fact, for that reason, I'm going to make it just E, and you'll see the same thing happens again. And if I type in mouse event, there you go. 
that's going to be in. And you know, as soon as I bring in that event there, this is why it's so good to do that actually. If you bring in that event there, it also then imports um, the pathway to the flash motion and motion events there. Oh god. Okay, so now we're going to bring in the function. So if we go down here and we write the function, function pressed, and we type in the event. So in my previous tutorial, I did it like this: evt 